Well, here we go, out into the bee yard. Check on see what's going on. Yep, pulling out rubber bands yet. That'll keep them busy. This was a swarm not too long ago. They're doing just good. And this one, this one was a teeny tiny little swarm that came. Size of a softball. And look at them now. Yep, hot and sunny. Hot and sunny down here in Georgia. I think you can see the bees coming in. We're right in the airport way. All right, we're gonna walk on down here. Now, as you remember from the video previously, we had a swarm and another swarm and it was two queens and mayhem all the fighting and wrestling going on they were all trying to go into that one empty box and one group got put in a box with a queen and the other group went up into the tree so we got them down into this box I moved this box over here because this was an easier area for me to get at. But as you see, they're doing pretty good. However, what I had to do is I had to merge them with the premier box mm -hmm. that they were all going into that I captured the queen in. Came home last night and it appeared that most of them had moved over here or moved in with another colony. The queen was still in there caged. However, she only had a few attendants. And this group seemed queenless. So I'm not quite sure what all happened. So we're gonna take a look-see inside and see how they're doing. They're still kind of in swarm mode yet. They still haven't settled down. So we're going to open up the box and see what we find. Well, I had to get my coat on and zip up because they are kind of testy. We'll take a look inside and see what's going on. Their queen all caged. And you can see her moving around inside. And she's got lots of tenants tending her.
she's the big one trying to come out. She wants out. She's a caramel color. Pretty big. So at this point in time, what I'm going to do, I'm trying to work with all hands. Not a lot of bees left. Tending to all her needs. So, what I have actually done is I've given them honey inside of the hive. It's a redneck way of doing things. Um, and that's all I plan on doing. People could put a feeder inside here. Um, this group is so small and it needs, they need to be in a smaller newt box because there's such a small amount of them now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to release the queen and hopefully you can see her. Look at her. I'm going to release the queen. She is wanting out. She's beautiful. She goes. It's all going to quiet down now. They are so hungry, and as you see, it's 
one bee was got so excited. Got right into the honey pot. So now the sisters will come around and try to lick stuff off of her and eventually they'll lick her clean. This group here, before we end the video, this was another small swarm. And they're doing a lot better. A lot of times you don't mess with these small swarms. Uh, every beekeeper will say it's too late in the season. We're almost at the last week of July and they're in a dearth right now. So there's not a lot of food out there for them to forage and bring back. They are bringing back a little bit of pollen and nectar, but it isn't a whole heck of a lot. And they need a lot to get started up with when they have absolutely nothing, especially this group over here. They are basically on their own at this point. And then it all depends upon too, when you get these little small swarms like this, the queen has to go off and get mated. And that's like a two week, process and add on another while longer another week maybe two weeks until she starts laying eggs and by that time the colony has dwindled down to almost nothing so um, like I said a lot of beekeepers they don't even want to fool with these little small swarms they'll just leave them and basically at that point in time they have to fend for themselves if they make it, they make it. If they don't, they don't. That's just the way the beekeepers look at things. And out of this, really what you're gonna end up with, you're gonna end up with a colony that has stronger genetics because they were able to go through the bad times to come out in the good. So, and that's another thing is strong genetics. You get the stronger group of bees and you know, that, that's another reason why I believe in swarms. They are a stronger group of bees that are just set up to have success. And they have a lot of honey off from them. So we'll see what this little group does. We'll give them a chance and we'll go from there. And again, they're just like, they're drunk with all of their honey that they're drinking. And there's some more bees that just like toppled over. There's even a fly trying to get in on some. Like I said, it's hot and dry down here in Georgia. And it's just a matter of time before the rain stews start coming back. So we'll see what goes on. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, I'll be making more.